Okay, this is for a, um, this is something I'm new to trying out here. I have, this is my uh, big 3000 watt inverter. The battery's inside. This is the, uh, the system inside the house here. I got three 30 watt panels. So there's uh, that window you can't see because of all the snow that's piled up there. But I cleaned those off this morning. And I got this all wired up. This is an extension cord that I bought from Lowe's. It's 12 gauge, heavy duty, it's 50 foot. See where right around 14.1, 14.2. Most of this was put together from leftover parts from the original setup I had in the shed. A little um, analog voltmeter, something that I added. So I have an actual number to go off. Come on, focus. There you go. Instead of just the little LEDs. I don't know why it's blurry like that. down the basement here and then I have this wired up to the shallow well jet pump we have well and cistern here there's no city water I disconnected the uh, the 220 line it just plugs into the outlet it's been like that longer than I've been alive so don't ask me why it's like that it just is I said I unplugged it I set it to 115 and then I wired up the extension cord to it uh, I left the ground here just because if I decide to do something, make it permanent someday or something, obviously I'm not going to make it permanent with an extension cord, but I'll run a, a nice 10 gauge wire and have the extension cord drop down out of that. So we'll actually flip this over and just turn that off. Okay, turn that switch off. This is the well. I'll actually turn this valve off and I'll turn this on. And we're going to find out if this actually works. Uh, I'll show you the hump I follow the cord. It's a Utilitec 1 horsepower. We run on 115 or 230. It comes from the factory wired setup for 230. There's the amp. Draw 9.6 amps since we're running on 115. Uh, the extension cord's rated for up to 15 amps, so we're well within that rating. And a 3000 watt inverter, technically, according to Ohm's law, should give me 25 amps to play with. So that inverter should be more than powerful enough to run this pump. Actually, according to Ohm's law, this should only draw about 1100 watts to run. And it runs for about exactly a minute. So what we're going to do, find a bucket. We're going to let the water run until the pump comes on and see what the hell happens. Uh, it cuts in at 25. Worst case scenario, I drop this phone, go up and unplug it. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Uh, this one cuts in at 25 and shuts off at 45. From the, the factory setting on the pressure switch was 2040. I increased it a little bit. It says it can't create pressure higher than 50, which I personally think is kind of pathetic for a one horsepower pump. I've seen three quarter horse pumps and half horse pumps that can make pressure higher than that. Here's the, uh, spins at 3450 RPM. There's not really a whole lot about it. It's all cast iron. It's all heavy duty. Oh, here's the uh, tank. It's Craftsman. Oh yeah, this pump replaced the Craftsman pump. That's what the uh, that's what this metal bracket's actually from. It doesn't actually do anything here. There's a let's see, model three nine zero dot two nine one six five eight. And then if you could see it back here, there's the uh, how many ga the gallons you should get out of it according to the pressure. So it's 25.45, even though it's on here, it should give me about 11 and a half gallons. There you go, it came on. I didn't particularly like it, but it worked.
I'll drain 100% off solar. What this is doing? 11, 5, 11, 4, 3, 4, 6, 5. Go back down. And off it goes. Didn't particularly like the uh, the startup too much, but obviously it did work. I'm surprised I actually kicked it on. This will surge at 6,000 watts for starting stuff like that for a brief moment, but that's it. I don't know if maybe the startup surge was, or if it, the amount of time that it takes to come on is longer than what this could surge for, but it did work. It's the first time I ever tried to run something like that off of solar, but. It's nice to know that I can have running water if the power goes out. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.